Chapter 20 In those days was Hezekiah sick unto death, and Isaiah the prophet the son of Amos came to him, and said unto him, Thus saith Jehovah, Set thy house in order, for thou shalt die, and not live. Then he turned his face to the wall, and prayed unto Jehovah, saying, Remember now, O Jehovah, I beseech thee, how I have walked before thee in truth, and with a perfect heart, and have done that which is good in thy sight. And Hezekiah wept sore. And it came to pass, before Isaiah was gone out into the middle part of the city, that the word of Jehovah came to him, saying, Turn back, and say to Hezekiah, the prince of my people, Thus saith Jehovah, the God of David thy father, I have heard thy prayer, I have seen thy tears, behold, I will heal thee. On the third day thou shalt go up unto the house of Jehovah, and I will add unto thy days fifteen years, and I will deliver thee and this city out of the hand of the king of Assyria, and I will defend this city for mine own sake, and for my servant David's sake. And Isaiah said, Take a cake of figs. And they took and laid it on the boil, and he recovered. And Hezekiah said unto Isaiah, What shall be the sign that Jehovah will heal me, and that I shall go up unto the house of Jehovah the third day? And Isaiah said, This shall be the sign unto thee from Jehovah, that Jehovah will do the thing that he hath spoken. Shall the shadow go forward ten steps, or go back ten steps? And Hezekiah answered, It is a light thing for the shadow to decline ten steps. Nay, but let the shadow return backward ten steps. And Isaiah the prophet cried unto Jehovah, and he brought the shadow ten steps backward, by which it had gone down on the dial of Ahaz. At that time Biradak Baladin, the son of Baladin, king of Babylon, sent letters and a present unto Hezekiah, for he had heard that Hezekiah had been sick. And Hezekiah hearkened unto them, and showed them all the house of his precious things, the silver and the gold and the spices, and the precious oil, and the house of his armor, and all that was found in his treasures. There was nothing in his house, nor in all his dominion, that Hezekiah showed them not. Then came Isaiah the prophet unto king Hezekiah, and said unto him, What said these men, and from whence came they unto thee? And Hezekiah said, They are come from a far country even from Babylon. And he said, What have they seen in thy house? And Hezekiah answered, All that is in my house have they seen. There is nothing among my treasures that I have not showed them. And Isaiah said unto Hezekiah, Hear the word of Jehovah. Behold, the days come that all that is in thy house and that which thy fathers have laid up in store unto this day shall be carried to Babylon. Nothing shall be left, saith Jehovah. And of thy sons that shall issue from thee, whom thou shalt beget, shall they take away, and they shall be eunuchs in the palace of the king of Babylon. Then said Hezekiah unto Isaiah, Good is the word of Jehovah which thou hast spoken. He said, Moreover, Is it not so, if peace and truth shall be in my days? Now the rest of the acts of Hezekiah, and all his might, and how he made the pool and the conduit, and brought water into the city, are they not written in the book of the chronicles of the kings of Judah? And Hezekiah slept with his fathers, and Manasseh his son reigned in his stead. End of chapter 20 Chapter 21
Manasseh was twelve years old when he began to reign, and he reigned five and fifty years in Jerusalem, and his mother's name was Hephzibah. And he did that which was evil in the sight of Jehovah, after the abominations of the nations whom Jehovah cast out before the children of Israel. For he built again the high places, which Hezekiah his father had destroyed, and he reared up altars for Baal, and made an Asherah, as did Ahab, king of Israel, and worshipped all the host of heaven, and served them. And he built altars in the house of Jehovah, whereof Jehovah said, In Jerusalem will I put my name. And he built altars for all the host of heaven in the two courts of the house of Jehovah. And he made his son to pass through the fire, and practice augury, and used enchantments, and dealt with them that had familiar spirits, and with wizards. He wrought much evil in the sight of Jehovah, to provoke him to anger. And he set the graven image of Asherah that he had made in the house of which Jehovah said to David and to Solomon his son, In this house and in Jerusalem which I have chosen out of all the tribes of Israel will I put my name for ever. Neither will I cause the feet of Israel to wander any more out of the land which I gave their fathers if only they will observe to do according to all that I have commanded them, and according to all the law that my servant Moses commanded them. But they hearkened not, and Manasseh seduced them to do that which is evil more than did the nations whom Jehovah destroyed before the children of Israel. And Jehovah spake by his servants the prophets, saying, Because Manasseh king of Judah hath done these abominations, and hath done wickedly above all that the Amorites did that were before him, and hath made Judah also to sin with his idols, therefore thus saith Jehovah the God of Israel, Behold, I bring such evil upon Jerusalem and Judah, that whosoever heareth of it, both his ears shall tingle, and I will stretch over Jerusalem the line of Samaria, and the plummet of the house of Ahab, and I will wipe Jerusalem as a man wipeth a dish, wiping it and turning it upside down and I will cast off the remnant of mine inheritance, and deliver them into the hand of their enemies, and they shall become a prey and a spoil to all their enemies, because they have done that which is evil in my sight, and have provoked me to anger since the day their fathers came forth out of Egypt, even unto this day. Moreover, Manasseh shed innocent blood very much, till he had filled Jerusalem from one end to another, besides his sin wherewith he made Judah to sin, in doing that which was evil in the sight of Jehovah. Now the rest of the acts of Manasseh, and all that he did, and his sin that he sinned, are they not written in the book of the chronicles of the kings of Judah? And Manasseh slept with his fathers, and was buried in the garden of his own house, in the garden of Uzzah, and Ammon his son reigned in his stead. Ammon was twenty and two years old when he began to reign, and he reigned two years in Jerusalem, and his mother's name was Meshulameth, the daughter of Heruz of Jopah. And he did that which was evil in the sight of Jehovah, as did Manasseh his father. And he walked in all the way that his father walked in, and served the idols that his father served, and worshipped them. And he forsook Jehovah the God of his fathers, and walked not in the way of Jehovah. And the servants of Ammon conspired against him, and put the king to death in his own house. 
but the people of the land slew all them that had conspired against king Ammon, and the people of the land made Josiah his son king in his stead. Now the rest of the acts of Ammon which he did, are they not written in the book of the chronicles of the kings of Judah? And he was buried in his sepulchre in the garden of Uzzah, and Josiah his son reigned in his stead. End of chapter 21 Chapter 22 Josiah was eight years old when he began to reign, and he reigned thirty and one years in Jerusalem, and his mother's name was Jedida, the daughter of Adiah of Bozkath, and he did that which was right in the eyes of Jehovah, and walked in all the way of David his father, and turned not aside to the right hand or to the left. And it came to pass in the eighteenth year of King Josiah, that the king sent Shaphan the son of Azaliah, the son of Meshulam the scribe, to the house of Jehovah, saying, Go up to Hilkiah the high priest, that he may sum the money which is brought into the house of Jehovah, which the keepers of the threshold have gathered of the people, and let them deliver it into the hand of the workmen that have the oversight of the house of Jehovah, and let them give it to the workmen that are in the house of Jehovah to repair the breaches of the house, unto the carpenters, and to the builders, and to the masons, and for buying timber and hewn stone to repair the house. Howbeit there was no reckoning made with them of the money that was delivered into their hand, for they dealt faithfully. And Hilkiah the high priest said unto Shaphan the scribe, I have found the book of the law in the house of Jehovah. And Hilkiah delivered the book to Shaphan, and he read it, and Shaphan the scribe came to the king, and brought the king word again, and said, Thy servants have emptied out the money that was found in the house, and have delivered it into the hand of the workmen that have the oversight of the house of Jehovah. And Shaphan the scribe told the king, saying, Hilkiah the priest hath delivered me a book. And Shaphan read it before the king. And it came to pass, when the king had heard the words of the book of the law, that he rent his clothes. And the king commanded Hilkiah the priest, and Ahikam the son of Shaphan, and Akbor the son of Micaiah, and Shaphan the scribe, and Uzziah the king's servant, saying, Go ye, inquire of Jehovah for me, and for the people, and for all Judah, concerning the words of this book that is found. For great is the wrath of Jehovah that is kindled against us, because our fathers have not hearkened unto the words of this book, to do according unto all that which is written concerning us. So Hilkiah the priest, and Ahikam, and Akbor, and Shaphan, and Uzziah, went unto Huldah the prophetess, the wife of Shalom, the son of Tikbah, the son of Harhas, keeper of the wardrobe. Now she dwelt in Jerusalem in the second quarter. And they communed with her. And she said unto them, Thus saith Jehovah the God of Israel, Tell ye the man that sent you unto me, Thus saith Jehovah, Behold, I will bring evil upon this place, and upon the inhabitants thereof, even all the words of the book which the king of Judah hath read, because they have forsaken me, and have burned incense unto other gods, that they might provoke me to anger with all the work of their hands. Therefore my wrath shall be kindled against this place, and it shall not be quenched. But unto the king of Judah, who sent you to inquire of Jehovah, thus shall ye say to him, Thus saith Jehovah the God of Israel, 
as touching the words which thou hast heard, because thy heart was tender, and thou didst humble thyself before Jehovah, when thou heardest what I spake against this place, and against the inhabitants thereof, that they should become a desolation and a curse, and hast rent thy clothes, and wept before me. I also have heard thee, saith Jehovah, therefore behold, I will gather thee to thy fathers, and thou shalt be gathered to thy grave in peace, neither shall thine eyes see all the evil which I will bring upon this place. And they brought the king word again. End of chapter 22